crazy. But I had a I had a lockdown in Perth during the Perth Fringe World Festival. I was fortunate enough to get over there. I just got out of Queensland on time on January the 7th. Had to fly through Canberra, stay overnight in Adelaide, fly into Perth to do the Fringe. And it was really, it was good to be there, but then nine days in, we had a, a five day lockdown, just lockdown. And that was fine. Lockdowns were normal. I said, oh, that's fine. I was staying with another comic in Airbnb. It was all set. The very next day, there was a 40,000 hectare fire, 35 kilometres outside of Perth, just burning straight towards Perth, just covering it in soot and ash, and the whole thing is just smoke. And there was a cyclone coming down the west coast of straight towards... I'm like, fucking settle down! <laughs> was, I'm like a six-hour flight away from my family, stuck in a place that could chip off and be in Indonesia any minute. <laughs> There's a fucking cyclone, a fire, and you're not allowed to leave the house. <laughs> Safety first, Perth. And I was freaking out. I was freaking out because I've read the Bible, right? <laughs> I was expecting locusts or the headless horsemen. I was, I was really concerned about it because I was the first born, right? I was worried. <laughs> I was worried. It's a good book if you haven't read it. Has anyone, have you read the Bible? Yeah. It's hard to find, but I read it. I'm a big fan of fiction. It's a good book. <laughs> it's a good book. It's hard to find people that have read it though. Like it's the most published book in the history of human people. Like there's more copies of the Bible than any other book. And I think that's because it's in the bedside table of every hotel room. You're supposed to read it while you're waiting for the hookers, I think. It's, it's designed to put your fuck a pillar of salt. I do this myself. It's, but if you haven't read it, it's a great book. It's like it's an early, it's like an early Harry Potter. Like it's full of magic. Yeah, that laser talking cock and abortion. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like a, and there's heaps of magic stuff, like a lady convinces her husband that she went to the pub and got pregnant but didn't have sex. It's amazing. Look, there's some really great stuff in there. And uh, this guy's a popular guy, not huge popular, only had about 12 friends, but. <laughs> if you haven't read it, his name's Jesus. Now, the thing is, in that book, and I know, I know it's fiction, but I'm waiting. In the book, they talk about him coming back. He's always coming back, and I'm like, where the fuck is the sequel? Like, hang on. <laughs> like, I'm hanging to read it. Like, some people read the original one, not going to be here when the sequel's like, they've died. Why hasn't it been? Where is it? Like, can we get Bryce Courtney onto it? Like, it's too long. <laughs> you know, we just get another 12 authors, fuck, bang something out, we'll put it together. I don't understand. Why has it been so long? You know, and Jesus says he's coming back. Where the fuck? <laughs> It's been more than 2,000 years. That's not I'm going to the fucking shops on Friday and didn't come home till Tuesday because I did good on a scratchy, is it? That's... <laughs> Why? Why has he been gone so long? Good question. I've got a theory. I think Jesus was a carpenter, right? Now, sometimes a tradie will come to your house on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and, they'll, and they'll be like, yeah, no, 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 I'll come back Friday. <laughs> <laughs> then I started thinking, what if Jesus had just rocked back tomorrow? Hey gang, I'm back. Like some people would be like, woo! Other people would be like, where the fuck have you been? I'd be like, oh yes, the book! <laughs> and he was a trade, he wouldn't just walk straight back onto the job site, would he? Occupational health and safety for a start. Oh no, sorry, Jesus not in them sandals, eh? <laughs> Five years, Jesus is going to have to get some steel caps. <laughs> and things have changed. He's probably going to have to upskill, go back to TAFE for a bit. A bit awkward. <laughs> the son of God at TAFE. Orientation, no free water. Yeah, give me a few of them. <laughs> and even if you can go to all that trouble getting steel cap boots and upskilling at TAFE and learning how to drink iced coffee, read Zoo magazine and shit in a cupboard on site and pick a high-vis colour that's his favourite. I don't think they'd let him do everything on the job site, would they? I mean, they're not going to let him near the nail gun for a while, surely. <laughs> Seriously, fuck, not after last time. Imagine that. <laughs> fuck, fuck! <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs>